Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. My name is Bernice. I do home decor vlogs, teacher vlogs, perfume videos, and vlogs in general. So if you like that content, do subscribe to my channel. Today, I want to show you the perfumes that I managed to finish um, in January and February. Some, there's still a bit left in, in some of the bottles. But yeah, and then I'm going to mention whether I'm going to repurchase them or not. If you do not know, I have quite a large perfume collection, but I have not been buying perfumes um, recently. Um, recently meaning last year and this year. The only perfumes that I got that were new were uh, presents. Yes, were presents. So I did not buy any perfumes uh, for myself recently. So I do want to finish my perfume collection because I've had this collection for quite a while. And when a perfume collection gets big, you tend to not use other perfumes and use others more. So I just want to finish this collection. And so far, I think I'm doing a good job. It's taken me a while, though, to finish some of these. Some were already halfway or even more than halfway um, used up or halfway through. So I managed to finish them only this year. I do have quite a lot actually that have a, a, a f um, small amount of perfume left but I didn't want to include them in here I think I will leave those ones and once I'm done with them then I'll show you again um, a video just like this yeah but for now the ones that do still have a bit of perfume in it left is this one here and I think I'm gonna use this tomorrow so that it can finish the bottle is so pretty this is discontinued. You will not find a Black Opium Louis Blanc anymore. I was not aware until a subscriber mentioned that. And after mentioning that, I tried to Google and look for it, but I could not find it. So I was not aware that Black Opium Louis Blanc is not available anymore, which is very sad. You can even see the dust on, on here. But let me just sniff it again. Oh, okay, no, this perfume actually reminds me of John Paul Gaultier's Scandal. So I think if I were to get a black opium like the uh, the original black opium and then I layer it with the John Paul Gaultier because it has a very heavy honey, uh, a very heavy honey note. So it would definitely make something very close to this one here. There are so many YSL perfumes. I'm, I could understand why people are upset that this is discontinued. But personally, the black opiums all smell very, very, very similar. They are very chocolatey, uh, gourmand, and they smell, they have a very similar scent profile. So that's why I'm saying if, uh, when I'm done with this one, I will layer an original black opium with a scandal a john paul called yes scandal and it will give a very similar profile so i can't repurchase this again it's finished and i'm not going to throw the bottle away because this bottle matches with my room decor <laughs> so i am i can't rebuy this i can't repurchase but i'm not losing the bottle but it's definitely would have been worth a buy a worth a repurchase so this one here is um Zaldique and Voltaire, this is still available. I'm glad Zaldique and Voltaire perfumes are very, very unique. They smell like food, but very good food um, in a perfume. Yeah, this one smells like baby food in my opinion. It smells like very good baby food. Um, when it when it starts to form and blend with the skin and whatnot, uh, the bottle is dirty. I apologize for that because this is... um. This is a material. So this one is here is Girls Can Say Anything by Zaldig and Voltaire. I will definitely repurchase this. I love, love, love the smell of this fragrance. And it was a tiny bottle. I think this was the 30 ml. Very tiny. And I used it up quite fast. It can pull off a very masculine. But because male and female body chemistries are not the same. It is a feminine fragrance but it 
can be used by a male as well. So I've noticed that Zardique and Voltaire fragrances are very, very unisex. Yeah, and I do want to, I wouldn't repurchase this one in particular, but there are so many perfumes that smell so good um, under Zardique and Voltaire, and I would love to try those ones when I am going back into my buying, my buying season. <laughs> Okay, the second one is Elisab La Parfum. This was also very tiny, but it was it was tiny, but I couldn't finish it fast enough. I don't know why. Normally, if a, per a perfume is very tiny, I'm able to finish it very quick. Guys, forgive the the perfume, how dirty the perfume bottles look. Okay, and it, ha it just has fingerprints and fingerprints. So whenever I I'm applying moisturizer and then I immediately apply the perfume. So that's why it looks like that. But yeah, this one is a very uh, feminine fragrance signature. An everyday, definitely an everyday fragrance. That's why I said I wonder why I took so long to finish this perfume. Because it is easily an everyday fragrance. I would buy this again. But there are so many other um, Elisab um, La Parfum, no, Elisab fragrances. Which are... The same ones as these or they are flankers or they come after this one so there's so many ones worth trying and not just this one in particular so i wouldn't necessarily buy this one again but it is a very great fragrance then this one i think this is my third bottle i think that this is my third bottle this is coach ed coach ed t and it's in the 50 oh 90 ml it's quite big no matter how many times I buy this fragrance, I have to stop myself um, from using it every single day. That is one fragrance that I literally have to stop myself um, from using it every single day because it is so, it's such a good perfume. It's so sweet, floral, feminine. It smells like a fresh it smells like fresh air. <laughs> it smells like something very fresh. It's very lemony. So this one I would also recommend for an everyday fragrance, a signature scent. Um, people respond very well to this fragrance because it, it, it smells very classy and very... How do I say this? Very classy, feminine. Um, it smells like a girl <laughs> it smells like a fresh girl <laughs> i don't know how to put it but yeah it sticks to the clothes as well very well so even throughout the day you are able to smell it you are able to get a whiff of it it's even though it's an edt but it sticks very well to the clothes to the skin it's not a sweet or very heavy fragrance it's more on the florally um sparkling side very fresh as well so yeah i would definitely rebuy this this is my third bottle this right here i think it's my third bottle or it's my second bottle um probably my second bottle because i do have the coach edp and that one is way sweeter more concentrated and very pineapple centered so no, I think this one is my second bottle, if I'm not mistaken. So I would definitely buy this one again. Then, let me come here. This one is a very affordable vanilla bomb. I layered almost all of my perfumes. I layered this with this. I layered this with this. I layered... This is... How can I put it? This is my first fragrance that I would apply after my moisturizer and then i would apply something else so this is my base okay this is my base and i think is this my first one i'm not sure if this is my first one or if this is my second one i can't recall whatsoever um but i know that i have the i love candy one and that i love candy one is, is still quite full i think i have this this much still the vanilla one is very good for winter and when you want to smell when you want to intentionally smell like a vanilla bomb it's warm very thick very sweet very cozy smells like cookies in an oven very sweet cookies in an oven so that's why i say i use this one first and then i use another 
vanilla based fragrance so that i get that cozy vanilla scent right so yeah this one i'll definitely repurchase and i need to buy it again actually um, because it is one of my main layering fragrance then this one here i am almost i just have a few drops i used it today um i feel like when i use one fragrance over and over again i end up not smelling it but I assume other people smell No, not assume. I know other people smell it. Just that people don't say anything. Because especially if you're a perfume uh, collector, you smell good every day. So people stop commenting about your perfumes. If you know what I mean, right? I know there are a lot of uh, ladies who love my... Who love not necessarily my perfume videos, but who love perfume videos in general. They understand what I'm saying. You tend to become nose blind to your own self and other people that you meet every day especially at work they know that you smell good so they don't even compliment you anymore so my point is i used this one today and i couldn't smell it on myself um nobody said anything i'm so used to people not saying anything anymore about my perfumes <laughs> because i spray a different perfume every single day okay so this one is a very oh this one is a very good rich um spicy peppery vanilla sweet vanilla um salty vanilla fragrance and it layers very well with this one right here the lentheric i love vanilla so yeah i'm about to finish it i did use it quite a lot today it's boozy as well it's, it's very boozy it smells like rum it's giving that situation so i do want to finish it today i love the bottle this bottle is 100 ml I'm telling you, this took me forever and a century to finish because it's so strong. So if you are looking for a perfume and you don't know which perfume to start with in your collection, especially if you are um, looking to buy really expensive perfume, this is the go-to fragrance. And it's easy to layer with, with such other perfumes or even body sprays. So yeah, I need to finish this one. Besides that, I've been talking too much. <laughs> this is the little group that I'm going to show you um, right now. Then as we go along, as we progress with finishing more perfume, uh, more perfumes, I will show you in groups and groups and groups. So it, it gets quite overwhelming because once you finish a perfume and then you have to, you have to um, let it sit in your perfume collection while the bottle is empty it looks like you're not going you're not having any progress concerning finishing your perfumes so i just wanted to show you these ones and there are some of the, there are some perfumes that i have that still have quite a bit of perfume left but like i said i don't want to put them all in here i think the next time i will put the empty bottles i'll do the same thing empty bottles and those that are about to finish just like what i did here because i know this is this is like two days worth of spray because I really spray myself when I go to work, okay? But when I go to... Yeah, when I go to work, when I go, go out with my friends, when I do other stuff. But when I go to church, I don't spray perfume. Yeah, when I go... I don't want to be that person that walks in the church and my perfume smells strong. I don't... It's, it's not... I feel like personally, okay? Other people do it personally. I do not do that. And even if I do spray, I think I spray quite um quite um subtle fragrances yeah and two sprays at max but when i go to work this is definitely something like 10 10 sprays 15 sprays even so as i'm saying this is two days or even yeah this is two days i can't force this on myself for just for one day but yeah I hope you liked this video. Please give me a big thumbs up for my video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Share the video and tell me in the comment sections below if you like this kind of video and um, if you like um, seeing the progress that I am making concerning my perfume collection becoming smaller and smaller and smaller so that I can start a new perfume collection because I literally have such old fragrances and I layer them so that I can get different scent profiles but I'm tired 
I'm tired of having these perfumes now. I want to get new perfumes. There's so many perfumes in the market now. I don't even check anymore because when I look, I'm just... I just get overwhelmed at how many new perfumes there are. And when I do go to sniff in this store as well, I do find the new perfumes. And it's just so overwhelming. But I am definitely looking forward to that part. Again, starting a proper, uh, well thought of perfume collection since I know what perfumes I like now. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Leave a message in the comment section and we'll talk. Bye.